Ministers, ambassadors, distinguished guests, good morning. It is my pleasure to be here at Euro Atlantic Club's To Be Secure Conference. I am pleased to see so many people whom I've already met and to have an opportunity to meet new partners who share our goal of seeking Montenegro's full integration into the Euro Atlantic institutions. The United States Embassy is proud to be a sponsor of this conference. Because of our deep commitment to security in Montenegro and throughout the region, the United States and Montenegro have a strong security and defense partnership. I am pleased by Montenegro's strategic vision to building security not only in the Balkans, but also internationally through deployment of troops to the NATO-led ESAF mission in Afghanistan and by seeking full membership into NATO. It shows that each country, no matter its size, has a place and a role in global efforts to contributing to peace and security in the world. Montenegro has made significant progress on the path to Euro-Atlantic integration, and the United States supports Montenegro's aspirations to join both the European Union and NATO. Membership in NATO and EU will bring numerous benefits to your country and to the entire region. However, the decision to make the steps and to take the steps to join these Euro-Atlantic institutions is one that should be made by the Montenegrins themselves with the will of both the government and the citizens of Montenegro. An open and informed debate by all Montenegrin citizens and leaders about NATO and EU membership is an indispensable part of the EU Atlantic integration process. Not only the government, but also NGOs and civil society players have a significant role in the process. To that end, the United States supports such open and informed debate through grants to NGOs. This conference is a perfect example of constructive discussion between civil society and government officials regarding NATO and EU integration process. The United States strongly believes that the process and progress of Montenegro and its neighbors toward EU and NATO memberships bring security to the region. The leaders from government, international organizations, think tanks, universities, and NGOs who are here today from Montenegro, Europe, and the United States all bring expertise and constructive dialogue to the topic at hand. Montenegro's role and the role of neighboring states in building security in southeastern Europe. These are real challenges, and there are real challenges ahead for countries who aspire to join NATO and EU. And I just want to say here, and I know that you've already congratulated Croatia, but I think it's really commendable to have them now have a date of integration. So I congratulate them. We know it wasn't easy, but it shows that with dedication and hard work on the part of not only the government, but the people, that it can be done. And we expect that Montenegro will soon follow suit. So congratulations to them. In Montenegro, the rule of law is the number one challenge, and it will require years of hard work, political will, and difficult decisions from all citizens in order to combat crime and corruption and to bolster the effective rule of law. I know that throughout the conference you will be touching on this topic by discussing regional cooperation in combating organized crime and sharing best practices for strengthening the rule of law. The United States is pleased to support Montenegro and other countries in the region in the Euro-Atlantic integration process through rule of law technical assistance, military assistance programs, and grants to NGOs. We are proud to be your partner on this journey. The United States Embassy has been a long partner of the Euro-Atlantic Club. We thank you and we applaud you and we look forward to some very robust discussions. Thank you very much.